As a business owner or manager, you know that happy customers are essential to your success. CSAT, or Customer Satisfaction Score, helps you measure this so you can regularly track your customer satisfaction with your products or services. By measuring customer satisfaction, businesses can identify areas that need improvement and make changes to better meet customer expectations. In this video, we'll explain what CSAT is and how to measure it. Customer Satisfaction Score, or CSAT, is a measure of how satisfied customers are. Your CSAT score should be a percentage that ranges from 0 to 100, and satisfied customers are those who said they were satisfied or very satisfied with their experience. Before we go into how to calculate your customer satisfaction score, it's important to keep in mind that CSAT can vary depending on the industry that you're in. Some industries have higher standards than others. That being said, low CSAT scores is still an indication that something needs to be improved within the company. No matter what industry that you're in, it's important to constantly strive for a high level of customer satisfaction. Before you can calculate your CSAT score, you'll first need to survey your customers and ask them to rate their level of satisfaction with your product or service on a scale of one to five, with one being very unsatisfied, two being unsatisfied, three being neutral, four being satisfied, and five being very satisfied. After receiving those responses, the formula to calculate your CSAT is very simple. It's total number of satisfied customers, or those who answered four or five, divided by total number of responses, then multiplied by 100. For example, let's say you surveyed 100 customers and 60 of them said they were satisfied or very satisfied with their experience. After multiplying that by 100, you'll have a CSAT score of 60%. Aside from using CSAT to measure customer satisfaction, another metric that businesses may use is NPS, which stands for Net Promoter Score. So what's the difference between these two and which one is right for your business? First off, NPS is a measure of how likely customers are to recommend your product or service to others on a scale of 0 to 10. Those who select 9 or 10 are your promoters, whereas those who select 6 or less are your detractors. To calculate your NPS, you simply subtract the percentage of detractors from the percentage of promoters. The resulting number will be a scale of negative 100 to 100, so an NPS of 100 means 100% 100 of survey respondents are promoters. So which metric should you use? The answer depends on your specific needs and goals. If you're trying to improve customer satisfaction, CSAT would be one that you want to focus on. If you want to understand customer loyalty, then NPS would be much more helpful to measure. Regardless of which one you go with, you may notice that not all customers will answer your survey. For CSAT, traditional responses can be around 5% or less, but Dialpad's AI CSAT helps you get up to 100%. Every time a customer reaches out to you, they typically only leave feedback for the conversation when they had an extremely positive or negative experience. It's like an iceberg where you only see what's above the surface. But this is really a skewed view of your customer satisfaction. The purpose of AI CSAT is to help you understand the customer satisfaction levels of those who didn't fill out your survey. That way you'll know what your customer satisfaction truly looks like and make improvements accordingly. For more on CSAT and AI CSAT, go to dialpod.com.